so I'm just going to start this haul with all the big bulky stuff because I just want to put them away so we've got more room. First of all, I bought this big pack of wipes. We've got loads left from the last pack that I bought about two, three weeks ago. But um, I don't go out of it all the time now. I tend to go once a month. So I figured, let me get them now until the next time I pop over to Aldi. Then we've bought these uh, toilet rolls. And then I got these nappies. I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed at the size. It says it's jumbo pack. But I'm sure the pack is much bigger than this. I do tend to get a much bigger pack. I also noticed the design is different. I guess maybe I could have bought two, but we've got loads left anyway. Then I bought these crisps because it's such good value for money. We always end up buying the, these same ones because if we buy the other set, which is like ready salted and prawn cocktail, the prawn cocktail always end up getting left. And then I decided to treat myself to some flowers. They did have some like, discount, like 50% and 75%, which I was so tempted to get. But I figured that it wouldn't actually last as long and I'd love for these to last a whole week. So yeah, I've got these lovely flowers, which are just so pretty. Okay, so next we have the food for today. So today's a bit of an Evans day. I've been nipping to the shop, getting a couple of bits that we've needed, cleaned the car, gone shopping, and about to pop back out and get a couple more bits. So it's a real Evans day where I'm not really having a chance to like cook any sort of meals. So I've decided on days like today, I'm not getting a takeaway, um, so I'll get something from the supermarket. Yes, it's a little bit more than cooking something from scratch, but it's still so much more cheaper than buying from buying a takeaway. So here I have got tonight's tea, and that is a meat feast. Usually we get the pepperoni. My partner loves the pepperoni one, but they didn't have that. So we'll just have to make do with this one. Then I've got these fries, and I just got them just to be greedy last time, but it turns out these are actually really nice fries. Um, so I bought these fries again, and we've got two lots of this garlic bread, so this will feed all of us. I don't know exactly how much it came up to, but it's much cheaper. Then I've also bought these croissants, and these actually say I'm new. I thought I'd seen them before, but obviously not. Um, so I've got these croissants for lunch, and I've also trapped myself to some orange juice, a little bit guilty. Orange juice with bits. I much prefer the bit one with bits. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the ones with bits, or do you prefer the ones without? So yeah, that's the unhealthy side of the table. This is the healthy side of the table. So from tomorrow, we're eating like this again. But firstly, we've got the yogurts here. So these are some yoghurt, it's mainly for my daughter and then also check my son and myself to some of these chocolate uh, layer buttons so that's something there for us to have later on in the weekend um and then these are the healthy bits as well so they didn't actually have the potatoes that i usually get so i just made do with these for now got some more onions and then some carrots and broccoli as well uh, decided to switch up oh also we've got some tomatoes too um but i decided to switch up on the fruit because i noticed that like especially with my daughter she's getting a bit bored and also i want my son to eat some fruit at school and not forget to eat his fruit so i've decided to switch it up and try some different fruits and also last week we started making a couple of homemade smoothies and uh, like the kids really really liked it so we've got some uh, wonky blueberries which works out to be much cheaper than the regular ones and you don't even notice that they won't care then i've got some apples and some mangoes i always like flinch a little at buying mangoes because they're quite expensive but if it gets the kids to eat a bit of fruit then it's definitely worth it and then i've got some plums uh, these are wonky ones as well don't really notice and that's it for our fruit and veg um so yeah i'll put these away and i'll show you the next set <music> Okay, so next I've got the bakery section here. So I've got lots of bread. Last week I was looking forward to a lovely cheese sandwich and then realised we ran out of white bread. I like whole wheat bread for toast, but I don't like it for sandwiches. Um, so yeah, I brought this best of both, which is will be nice to have. Um, so I've got two lots of these. And then I realised I've gone and bought the wrong, wrong village bakery loaf of bread. So I really like this, but I like the white one. So yeah, um, hopefully the kids will like this. And then I've got some wraps. I bought another spare one here. 
um, and then I've bought and veggie straws as well so I've bought my daughter quite a few snacks here that are quite young for her but the reason why is because she hasn't really been eating that well recently um, and I don't know if it's just like it's our foods or if it's just you know she's just going through a stage of growth and teething so I thought let's just try with stuff that I know she loved when she was younger um, so I've just got some uh, rice cakes some carrot puffs and some veggie straws I've also decided to get a couple of these bars these uh, fruit and grain bars and then I bought these shortbread biscuits they're a bit expensive I have to admit I think they were like £1.15 um, but yeah they look really nice and I just I don't know I just thought let me try them um, and then I bought an extra box of, bought an extra box of cocoa pops because we used our last one last week I bought this macaroni pasta as well and then I've bought two lots of brown sugar then in regards to more bakery I forgot to mention earlier that I bought these rolls um, so these will be for the weekend I know it's on the weekend like I sort of want to eat different things compared to the weekdays um, and I'm more tempted to like eat junk so like you know ordering food in or making lots of the wrong foods let's just go a little easy on the healthy eating and on weekends let myself have things like croissants and bread rolls as well so I've got those I've also bought some more eggs and then I bought two lots of some baking sheets now, I've, one thing I've noticed today is when I was shopping, there wasn't actually that much things that I needed to stock up on. But the things that I did stock up on, I have bought two of them. So that's like the baking sheets here and then the sugar as well. So it's actually quite a nice feeling to go to the shops and know that actually we've got a lot of the things at home. I'm just topping up the items. <music> So next we have the milk and as you can see we've got loads of milk again. I don't know what's happened to this label here. I got a coffee machine for my birthday last month and I really enjoyed having lots of lovely coffees but it's time to go easy on it and go down to two coffees a day because I realise that I'm drinking just too much milk. Um, so anyway, we bought three. Uh, the milk has lasted us. I think last week we bought maybe four. It has lasted us, but this week I've decided to get three. And same again for my daughter. I would usually buy the six pints, but they didn't have that, so I've bought these four pints. Um, and also, I have decided to try soy milk. Never actually tried it before, but um, it's plant-based and I wanted to give it a go so i'll give that a go at some point this week and i'll let you guys know how i get on with that please let me know do you like soy milk do you often have drinks with soy milk in instead of regular cow's milk let me know what type of milk you drink maybe i can give it a go then i've also got some lemonade which i usually have and um some squash i've noticed that recently i've decided to call the fancy squash off for now because i don't mind the regular squash but also what a nice surprise aldi actually had some new squash options well it doesn't it doesn't say it's new but before it just had the one that I didn't like um, but I've noticed this one and it looks really nice so I'm looking forward to trying that and hopefully I'll enjoy it much more than the other Aldi one <laughs> Okay, and then finally, I've got two of the last bits remaining. Um, so I've so I bought some meat here. Got a usual chicken fillets, but also notice that they didn't have the regular mints, but they did have this, which is a three percent fat mint. So it's a new <laughs> version. <laughs> So this is new version of mint and it's 700 grams. It's much smaller, but um, we usually get the uh, the 1kg. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see how we get on with this. Um, but that's quite new. Then I've bought the tomato puree and two lots of kidney beans and some baked beans as well. Um, and then finally I got some toiletries. So my daughter was running out of shampoo, so I bought some more of that. I stocked up on another shower gel because we used one of the ones from last week. I noticed we were running low on hand wash, so I bought an extra one of those also noticed we was running low on waste bin bags so it's now the following day and i just thought i'd pop on to share with you a bit more about the shop so that was yesterday's shop and that's to last a week but then i also topped up with lots of extra bits i've also got um, i bought loads of extra bits just to stock up on items so that i didn't find myself popping to the shop for those bits that you forget i also found myself popping back to the shop after i recorded yesterday's aldi haul to get a few extra bits like cow pole completely forgot to look out for that in Aldi and then there was a couple of other things as well gosh I can't remember it's now the following day and yesterday's shop came up to 86 pounds but then I did top up it 
in Sainsbury's with an extra five pounds worth of shop. So I spent roughly around 90 pounds, 90 pounds for the grocery shop. Now next week I'll be going back to weekly shops and try my best to keep my shop for under 60 pounds. Ideally 50 pounds, but I'm always over. But anyway, that, that was the shop. Quite happy with that. I wanted to keep it under 100 pounds and I feel like I've got more than enough of everything, which is amazing. But today, like I mentioned last week, I want to try something new each week and just try different things. But I also want to see the difference between the branded items and the non-branded items. So this week I forgot to show you because I actually left them in the car. I was very guilty of having one on the way home. But that is these root blocks. I got these from Aldi. Um, I can't remember how much they were, but we all know what they really supposed to be. And as a little kid, I absolutely loved opal fruits that's what they were called back in the day when i was a kid and um, which are now star uh, so i wanted to try these and see if they were any good now i have to admit i have tried the purple one i tried that because that's my least favorite one but my favorite ones the lemon and orange ones i haven't tried so i'm going to give that a go now and then to let you guys know what i think of it I'm gonna try these fruit blocks and see if they're just as good as Starburst. So we've got red, orange, and yellow. Do you wanna try? You've got a little head at that. Do you wanna try one? Yeah, you want purple ones. Oh. 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 They're the oh, worst you. ones. No, they're the best. Are you too young for this, darling? I'll have yeah. to get you something else. Don't taste that Starburst, but it tastes like right. These are really nice. The red one, mm, that was delicious. I think, you don't say sweets are delicious, do you? Yeah. Okay, right, okay. Yeah, that was delicious. <laughs> I'll take. Yeah. So let's try the orange one. Just had the, the lemon one and that was really quite sour. I tried them all, really, really liked um, all the sweets. Definitely will buy this pack again. Me personally, I think they're just as good as the Starburst one. And yeah, I definitely get these again. My son loves it and my partner, he enjoyed them as well. Um, but yeah, that's what we're trying this week, the fruit box. And yep, next week I'll be back to doing my £60 week shops, which is going to be really, really good because one thing I've noticed since I've been working weekly is it's so tempting to just spend and not have a limit on how much I'm spending on groceries or like when I'm going to the shops and buying a few bits for the kids. And one thing that's really helped is having like cut-off points. So even though I'm paying weekly, I'm still sticking to the 8th as like my new month. Really, I should sort of change it to the 1st and just go from there. So maybe I might do that actually. Being paid weekly, having that cut off point really helps because then when I'm tracking my spending throughout the month, then I can see exactly, I can see exactly how much I've got left. And then when the money runs out, I'm not allowed to top it up until the 8th of the following month or maybe the 1st of the following month. Um, but yeah, so cut off points has helped massively when it comes to managing my groceries and keeping my spending low. I've sort of managed to stick within budget. I have to double check the numbers. I definitely haven't gone that far over my budget. So next week we're back again, new month. I'm gonna try lots of new things and back to keeping our shops ideally under 200 pounds, but I think it'll be under 240 pounds. But thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.